Um, my grandfather started the business in 1924, and it was in the late 50s when my father uh, took over the business. And during his time, he, he increased the size of the business from one shop to seven uh, shops around Brisbane. It was quite busy in those days, and of course we didn't just have this one shop. We had, at one stage, Dad had nine shops around Brisbane, spread from Anala down to Wynnum. Um, and it wasn't until probably the 80s, or even late 70s, I suppose, some of the shops started to close. We had, The shop we had at Wynnum, we sold that to a fellow that we had in there managing it. Uh, so, or Dad did anyway. And then um, uh, some of the other ones we just closed up, but we just never expanded from there. We just stayed with the one shop. And I suppose in some ways it hasn't been so bad because we haven't had the, the worry of staff. Uh, a little bit easier to manage one shop rather than two or three or ten sort of thing. So. Yeah, but I suppose it sort of got to the stage now where I'm sort of thinking, well, must be getting close to retirement. And my two kids, well, neither of them are really interested in coming into the business. Yeah, I often look around and see things in the workshop and like they're all memories to me and, and I think, well, when I do retire, what am I going to do with them? I wouldn't like to just toss them in the rubbish or throw them out or anything. I, I think they deserve to remain a, a memory of the trade as it was, uh, how things used to be repaired and, and I'm sort of thinking that some of the machinery I've got here uh, possibly donate it to a museum somewhere and, and have it put into a museum for, to be kept forever sort of thing. Yeah, I, uh, I really haven't decided what to do with it all, but I, I couldn't see myself just throwing it out, I don't think. I'd like to have it maybe kept and, and uh, as, a, yeah, as a memory of the past. <laughs>